Hi friends, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and welcome to C programming tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the basic structure of a C program. Every C program has to be written in following sections. Now what are those sections? So I have written down those sections that we need to follow while writing any C program. So each and every C program always starts with a documentation section, which is the first section. Okay, This documentation, documentation section always I will be at the beginning so uh, inside documentation section you will be writing uh, the author of the program who is writing the program and what is the date on which date you are writing that program what is the use and purpose of writing the program and uh, what is the purpose of each and every functions that is written inside a program all those information will be placed inside the comment okay I already discussed what are comments in my last video uh, so all this information should be documented with the help of comments and these comments are always placed at the beginning of the program which is called as a documentation section and the next section after documentation we will be going to create a link section inside link section we used to link all the uh, libraries that we need to import okay so what are those libraries first of the first of all we need to understand what is the library libraries are those uh, functions or files that uh, that helps us to include some additional functionality into our existing program suppose i have a library with a name called as hash include stdio.h it's a library if we use this library in our program we can make use of the functionalities that is written inside this library okay we just need to Call that library we just need to write hash include stdio.h stdio.h uh, means standard input output library if we link this library inside our link section then we will be able to get all the functionalities written inside this library okay so all those uh, all these kinds of libraries has to be written or placed inside the link section and then we have a third section is definition section in definition section we need to define all our symbolic constants symbolic constants are those constants which are which do not change during the execution of the program once we define any symbolic constant then uh, we can make use of the value of that symbolic constant in our entire program whichever wherever in our program we call that symbolic constant the value will get replaced to that symbolic constant suppose this is our symbolic constant uh -huh define a symbolic constant in my definition section as hash define principal equals to 1000 okay now this hash define is the preprocessor compiler directive this hash define is called as a preprocessor compiler directive and this principal is called as a symbolic constant this is the constant which i have defined inside my definition section and i have set a value to this symbolic constant as 1000 and here you can see at the end of the symbolic constant i have not put a semicolon in c every statement will be end with a semicolon which tells to the compiler that this is the end of the statement but in a case of symbolic constants you cannot you are not allowed to put a semicolon you are not allowed to end symbolic constants with a semicolon okay uh, because this is not a statement it's a symbolic constant so i have set a value of 1000 to my symbolic constant principle so now in or letter section inside my main function section if I use this value if I want to make a uh, make use of 1000 which is the principal value then I just have to refer to this principal I just have to write principal in anywhere in this main function or inside my sub program section if I use principal value then the value that is stored inside the principal which is 1000 will get referred so this is how we can set a uh, symbolic constants in our definition section and the symbolic constant will all always be written in capital form or capital letters our uppercase letters and the next section we are having is the global declaration section global declaration section is a place where you define all your uh, variables all your functions that you want to be accessed globally well, what does this mean is suppose you have written uh, suppose you have created a variable in suppose you have defined a variable in global declaration section and you are using that glo that global variable or that 
variable or the value that is you have, that is you have created inside this global equation section in multiple files suppose let us take an example of a single file okay suppose you have created multiple functions in a same in a same file or in a same program and you have defined any variable as i as i as a global variable okay suppose this is a int of i equals to 10 suppose you have defined a variable as a global you have defined this variable in i equals to 10 inside global declaration section that means you can get you can access the value of this global variable i in different functions in different functions or in uh, you can access uh, this uh, the value of i in different files also you just have to link that file to this existing file okay so global declaration section allows you to define your functions or your variables uh, in such a way that they can access globally all the functions that are uh, outside the uh, outside uh, that file they can also access they can also get access to that global variable okay now next we are having a mean function section as we already discussed in our last video that each and every c program must contain a single mean function which is the starting point of that c program that is the from that place from that main function only execution of the c program will get started so there should be only one main function inside each and every c program so this is the section main function section inside which we will define our uh, variables local variables and our executable statements and uh, each and every main function starts with a semicolon which tells to the compiler that this is the beginning of this function and ends with a uh, ends with a curly brace okay every main function or any function starts with a uh, opening curly brace which tells this is the starting or the beginning of the function and ends with a curly brace which tells to the compiler this is the end of the function so this main function can contain a declaration part and a executable part inside declaration part we can declare variables we can we have declared variables like uh, variables of different data type like int i or uh, float uh, d okay or uh, or any other data type we can declare inside main function and executable part all the executable statements also can be written inside the main function okay so once we are done with the main function uh, if you want to have any sub program section then we can uh, define that sub program inside the sub program section immediately after the completion of the main function okay sub program section allows you to create different functions or different modules or different blocks which will have their own functionality those sub functions sub programs or sub functions are also called as user defined functions why it is called as user defined functions because we the user will be creating those functions we have a control of creating those functions we have the uh, access or we have the control of writing any uh, line of code inside those function uh, those functions are defined by the users that's why it is called as user defined functions okay so here inside the sub program section we can user can create their own functions and uh, uh, he can write any kind of functions inside this sub program sections okay so these are the different sections uh, that we can create while writing any c program okay so every programmer or the person who wants to write a C program has to follow these many sections in order to write any C program. Okay, so I hope you understood. I hope you got uh, get an idea about the basic structure or the sections of a C program. I hope you get a better understanding on this concept. If you like this video, if you get some useful information out of this video, subscribe to our channel and click on like button, share it with your friends and those who have uh, not subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell icon don't forget to click on the bell icon and those who have already subscribed to our channel uh, but they have not click on the bell icon i would just request for, uh, for for those guys to please click on the bell icon as well because if you have click on the bell icon then only you will be getting the updates of my upcoming videos okay so i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching